What's up guys, I have got a tour of a beautiful 53 foot motor sailor for you today. But as always, quickly before we get to the tour, just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos and you haven't already. It really helps us a lot, so thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, guys, this is going to be a rainy day boat tour because, as you guys can see, got some weather coming in. So let's see if I can get this deck tour done before I get dumped on. We're going to go forward first. Beautiful brand new teak decks on this boat. Recently replaced. Looks awesome. Taking a look at the rig. We've got in-mast furling, radar, double spreader mast. Looking at the boom. We're gonna take more of a look at the cockpit, but this is definitely an interesting boat. As you guys can see, look at how tall this boat is. You're gonna pilot it from up there. Got a coach roof right here, nice and clean. This boat looks like it's in really, really good shape. Got a little seat right here on the foredeck. Forward of the coach roof, the foredeck is pretty flush, so lots of room for activities out here on this awesome brand new teak deck. Love it. These bulwarks are so high, super safe. That's like, I don't know, 10 inches and it gets higher. Going up to the bow. Huge oversized cleats, roller furling head sail, massive windlass. I believe the anchor, yep, the anchor is down down there so the anchor is like right down there really cool I love these Choi Lee motor sailors this boat has a very pretty exterior looks great from the bow going aft so it looks like the main control lines are gonna go back to the cockpit as they should We got our jib or our Genoa track, really long. That's gonna provide a lot of room for adjustment and tuning that head sail to get the most performance out of it that you can. I am feeling some rain, so I think we're gonna be getting into the cockpit at just the right time. Such a beautiful boat. Going around the combing. I'm gonna to go to the aft section first and then show you guys the cockpit. So this boat has a little aft deck here. A little bit of a canoe stern going on, but still very wide. You got davits off the back with a dinghy hanging right there. And turning forward. This, this right here is so very cool. Hey guys, we just had to quickly hijack our own boat tour to bring you some sponsored content. I want to thank you guys for understanding. Doing sponsorships like this help us keep making videos. This video is sponsored by Bright Sellers. They provide a monthly wine subscription box based off a seven question quiz that gives you personalized wine choices. So I am admittedly not a wine drinker, but I am excited for this box because I know that I've only tried maybe a tiny fraction of what's actually out there. Between the two of us, Randy is more of the wine person. I do like 
enjoying a glass of wine after a long day of work and things like that I find it very relaxing but like Jordan I'm not a very educated wine drinker and once I find a wine that I like I tend to just keep ordering the same thing which is why I like the idea of these subscription boxes that give you a variety because then I'm exposed to a lot more types of wine than I would normally order for myself. So we went ahead and took the quiz. Bright Cellars sent us a box of wine and we're going to go ahead and open it up and try some of it right now. Now right on top we've got some wine education cards. We've got a box of four wines. Full disclosure we did already break into <laughs> one of them, so there's only three wines here. We've already tried the Albatrom, but today we're gonna try the Colorfast White Blend and the Obscura Zinfandel. That's really good. It's a lot. Can you taste the pepper? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys already know, sponsorships like this help us a lot. So you can help support us by supporting our sponsors as well. Bright Sellers is offering our followers 50% off their first six bottle box. It'll be just $53. All you need to do is go to the link in our description below and you can take your quiz to go ahead and get started. And with that, I want to thank you for sticking with us through this sponsored content. We're going to get back to the boat tour now. This feels like a motorboat, but this is a sailboat. This is a motor sailor right so you've got you're gonna sail the boat from way up there and then you've got this area right here you can sit and hang out at let's go in through there and take a look got your winches here on each side right there and right there teak decks come into the cockpit as well Look at this aft bench right here. Got storage underneath there. Got another pass through so you can get into the cockpit from each side easily. More storage down here and there. You guys can hear that thunder rolling. And then just look at how awesome this is right up here. Look at the view. Nice and protected. You've got unobstructed view forward. You're high off the water, so you can see very easily. Instruments, wheel, engine controls. Looks like there's two engines in this boat. Got a bow thruster. There's the helm seat. Looking to port. We've got another seat right here for your first mate or your co-skipper or co-captain. Look at that. 360 degree views. So yeah, this is a nice protected helm position I'd say. Alright guys. This is amazing, but we're gonna go down below, take a look at what's down there. So I just stepped down into the pilot house. We were up on the bridge deck, and now we have another steering position right here. And again, this is a perfect example of why having a protected helms position like this is very important it's bucketing down outside and it's perfectly dry and comfortable in here and you can control the boat from right here got all your instruments engine controls steering you're perfectly dry in this beautiful pilot house we got an aft bench right there this is going to be the nav station over here. All 
again I can't stress how much having an interior steering position like this is important at least to me safety equipment distribution panel there's some drawers kind of hidden underneath the bench here it's kind of cool All right, we were up there, then we came down into here, and now we're gonna go down again into the main saloon. Wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a 360. Let you guys take it in. This is absolutely beautiful down here. Where do I begin? Let's start with the galley. So we've got a galley here to port. Little nook shaped galley. This is basically a household fridge but obviously it's marine grade but it's a household sized fridge and freezer that's awesome we've got ample storage in the galley here microwave we've got an electric range right here force 10 sink with a Beautiful cover, gives you even more counter space when you're not using the sink. Love it. More cold storage, it looks like. Awesome, beautiful galley. And then while you're cooking, take a look outside and get a good view of the ocean or wherever you're at. Right now we're in Miami, so there's Miami. I like this up here. So you've got storage even built in above this little peninsula. It's a very nice touch. Looking forward to that, we've got our main settee, main salon table, absolutely beautiful. Storage behind it, everything is just in pristine condition. Flooring looks amazing. Nice teak and holly floor. Here's our mast. Gonna be a keel step mass going straight through the salon right there. And then we've got another seating area on the starboard side as well. This is just absolutely beautiful and comfortable place to live. We're gonna go ahead and go aft now. So we've got this little area. This is kind of an extra area with some storage and some counter space. And to the aft of that is gonna be the aft cabin. And we came down this way, so you could just go whoop, right into the aft cabin if you wanted to. Let's do it. Going into the aft cabin. So this is a full beam aft cabin here. Huge island berth. This is absolutely beautiful. Love the ambient lighting. Massive closed storage over here. Big, big hanging lockers. This might be more closed storage than I have in my current house. Got a vanity to forward. Looking aft again. 
storage all around the bed both sides and then we've got an ensuite head right here with a separate shower yeah I, I think anybody could live aboard this boat there's not really any compromise being made here beautiful going forward we're going to check out one of my favorite areas it's going to be this technical and engine room right here this is a little technical room it used to have a laundry machine in it but it doesn't anymore all right so i've got the engine room open right there it's this little door right here I turned on the lights and look at this. Granted, you do have to crawl, but you've got two diesels down here and a generator and all of your equipment. It's also got fiberglass fuel tanks on the sides there, I believe. There's one. There's another, so not metal tanks, that's good. All right, let's go ahead and head on out. Now we're back up here in the main saloon. I'm gonna go to the forward section of the boat. Do it step down right here. To starboard we've got cabin with two bunks in it pretty much directly to port there is another full head here with a separate shower Going forward again. The forward cabin is not a V berth, it's actually another set of bunks. So this boat is set up to sleep. Lots of individual people, it looks like. Crew, family. What have you? Turn out. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous flow decks walkthrough from bow to stern. All right, guys, starting up here in the forward cabin, we've got those two bunks, and I'm going to turn around. To port. We've got our full head. Starboard, two more bunks. Going aft, we're gonna have to go up two steps. We've got one of the highlights of the boat, the main saloon. Starboard, seating area. port, salon table, and galley, going aft, got our tech room, engine room below that, And then the huge full beam aft cabin. Ensuite head, separate shower. Vanity. Gonna go 
forward up into pilot house and then end it from there. And then going up into the pilot house. Again, this boat has multiple features that really stand out to me, but I think the pilot house is probably probably the number one feature. That's it, guys. That boat was probably the best motor sailor that I have seen thus far. I absolutely loved it. If we were looking for a motor sailor, that would be like the paragon of what we would want right there. Obviously, the boat is in beautiful condition. It's extremely big and comfortable. It's a great live aboard, but the best thing about this boat is that protected helm station in the pilot house as well as the pretty well protected area to steer the boat from outside. So I love that it has that flybridge as well as, you know, that pilot house. There's two options, both of which are great. The weather's good, you're gonna be outside. If it's not, you're gonna be inside. So because this is a motor sailor and not a pure sailing vessel, it's obviously not going to have the best sailing performance characteristics. However, it has those two diesel engines to help with that. My only small criticism about this boat is also a strength. Because that flybridge steering area is so high off the water, I can imagine in a big sea that that's not really going to be a safe place for you to be, especially if you're heeled all the way over. But keeping that in mind, this is a motor sailor, you're not really gonna be burying the rail on this boat. That's just not what this boat's designed for. So I don't really know if that's a fair criticism or not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tour. I know I certainly did. I think this is an awesome boat. As with all of our videos, the broker contact information as well as the current asking price is going to be in the description below if you wanna get some more information on this boat or you're interested in potentially purchasing her. That's it guys, if you like this one, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire